All right, wanted to take a little video of this uh, Valspar semi-transparent stain, six-year warranty. Goes on real easy. It's supposed to be a one coat. The problem is it doesn't look anything to the color that they advertise because I guess they don't paint it on treated wood. But anyway, this is a little dark for my liking. Uh, it soaks in. Here's some that have been soaking, sitting in the sunshine. There's one that's not drying. Put it on awfully thick. There you go. That's, you know, putting it on there. Here's what my boards look like. Now, these boards have been sitting out here a week, and they were dry when I bought them. So they're fairly dry. Got some runs on there, but I'm not painting like a, a professional. I'm just slopping mops. So let me show you that. Basically, my technique for this is just to slop it on here get it on there and roll it i don't know how good i'm getting there in the video to try to real quick and slopping it on there really thick so again I'm dipping it in there just kind of moving that around not trying to paint all professional i'm just trying to get her done this one can is painted 17 posts. I've done all four sides of all these. So if you think in a deck, this is a pretty big trailer, like a 7 by 18. So one can would definitely paint a whole deck, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I bought four cans, thinking it was going to soak up like candy. So pretty much one deck, and uh, you could do your boards, unless you're doing like me and doing all the sides. But even so, one can's gonna get you one can gonna get you covering a deck eight by sixteen easily, because this is all I got left to paint. I've done all four sides of that, all three sides of this, but that, and that's kind of how I'm slopping it on, just half the board and then the other half of the board. So you can kind of see what I got going on here before you go spend your money on it. All right, there's all 17 boards painted, all four sides with Valspar. Color's called Mixed Nuts. I do not like it. It's too brown for my liking. I would have liked a darker, like a black color or a little bit redder. My house is red, black, brick, not much brown on there. It's got some brown downspouts, so I'm sure its accent looked fine. What I think really looks dumb is the white trim. But, uh, what we got here is a monster, and we don't have a fence. So we're going to have to get a fence out here. Got some new neighbors coming, and they're going to build a fence, but I'm going to build a fence in the back back here. So got to get a fence made. All right, almost used a full gallon second coat. This is my last side of the second coat, but I kind of wanted you to see one coat. If you're that was super thick, and look at how much it absorbed. This is second coat on that top side, so I have three more sides to coat. I think I can do it with this one can, and then I need to paint the ends. All right, pretty much uh, with two coats, there is no transparency, there is no semi transparency. Basically, I can see the texture in the wood, but I can't see anything else. Painted the ends, all of them, and they're as dry as can be. Can't really tell what's soaked in and what's on the outside. I'll do a fingernail scratch. So, I don't know. Never can tell. I gotta scratch that off with my fingernail. So, it just putting a candy shell on it, not really what I wanted. I wanted it to absorb in like oil or diesel fuel into the wood. But maybe the treated wood won't allow it to go in there. Not something I'm gonna wanna follow through and paint my front porch post with. Some kid come up, scratch it. Hmm. Don't know what to think about that. I'll let it dry a little bit and we'll do another scratch test on it. 
didn't quite make it but as you can see that's a lot of surface area I painted them all twice except for the ends and only three sides of these I made it to about these boards you can see where it's kind of getting thin I couldn't even finish this one so you can see where it soaked in but uh so let's see it's been drying in the sun pretty good and basically it looks like I painted it brown I don't see any wood texture with two coats uh, I mean wood texture but wood color so that's pretty thick brown the second coats more sitting on the outside surface and not really soaked in I don't think so kind of up to you what you want to do this is called mixed nuts don't really like the color that's what the ends look like that's two coats and I don't think it's gonna soak in much more because that's that's pretty dry so I mean our goal is try to protect these fence posts for a few more years and with nothing on them and have it blend into the uh, to nature a little better I'm gonna open up a second can paint flip these paint the ends I hate to even open the cans but I don't think you can return them and I bought four of them okay I don't know if this brown is any better than the awkward green I guess so uh, matches the house a little better makes it look like it's been painted and that's not dry or uh, soaked into the wood but it is only one coat kind of talked it over with the old lady and told her two coats just look like brown paint so that actually looks all right I would have preferred a, a red like this uh, downspout even though that's a brown something to uh, accent the brick instead but anywho really not even much different at all okay just about burned through that second gallon doing all these posts one two three four five six seven eight posts I'm slopping it on pretty thick but cleaning it up it seems to do better if you get one wet coat this is kind of how it's turning out so here's one that's fairly dried in the sun a few minutes I think that looks pretty good it's better than green so that's pretty much my wrap up on that and um, they had a little roller for this and basically I'm I'm putting it on pretty doggone thick about like that and it's soaking in and and I'm going back and uh, Slopping up all the uh, drip marks and that's soaking right in there like butter on a biscuit and I'm going through and rolling it all while it's wet trying to get it smooth and no runs this is one I was kind of just getting carried away here and this this side of the board was real smooth it wasn't like rough cut so it's harder for it to seep into that like here's one where it all seeped in real good but that's kind of thick trying to get every little run picked up out of there while it's wet and hopefully that will look good yeah that's soaking in real good right there have that all soaked in be looking good there you go so that's everything painted and that's it